Unbearable heat continues to rage in China, stretching from the western regions all the way to its coastal provinces. The country has been on its highest weather alert for more than 10 days now, as it struggles with the most intense and most widespread heat wave it's seen in more than six decades. The heat has put a strain on the power grid, and in Chongqing, some rice paddies are ripening up earlier than usual. Experts say the summer heat has already posed some serious challenges to the country's staple foods. Agriculture production has been seriously affected. In the middle and lower reach of the Yangtze River region, single crop rice and late rice growth have been affected. The cotton blossoms have been affected. In the southwest, the corn and soybean growth. For some areas, it could mean harvest reduction or even total wipeout. There are warnings that the after effects may drag over to next year. For example, next spring's tea production doesn't bode well for those south of the Yangtze River. This region is also struggling with orange, mango, banana, and vegetable harvests, which have been off to an alarmingly bad start so far this year. But experts say there are coping measures that could turn things around. In the face of heat and drought, to the point crop management could ameliorate those negative impacts. For rice growth, water supply and a reasonable irrigation would have been essential to offset the harm that heat waves have done. For tea, fruit, and vegetable production areas, we suggest shield the produce from the sun and direct sunlight. The heat would relent for a little bit in the middle of this week, but experts say in September the better part of South China could still be facing sustained high temperatures and much less precipitation than it wants. Sun Ye, CGTN, Beijing.